What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires checking out a brand new S10, which is insane. The the axles are crazy, the suspension is crazy, uh, look at how everything has been worked into the frame of the truck, it's just an insane setup all around. I mean, the actually, it's, it's kind of nice that I have this one parked over here because you can see all of the detail on the control arms, the axles, the coilovers, the um, the hydro steering, the PSC hydro steering, uh, the bead locked wheels, even down to the little skull and crossbones on the like that on the hubs. That's really really cool. Uh, the whole setup on this truck is absolutely nuts. I mean, there's so much going on here that it's hard to kind of it's hard to kind of like I guess just co quote unquote categorize it all because there's so much work that went into this mod. So much, so much, so much work. So. Tire options are actually very, uh, quite varied, um, but uh, we have a few different options here. We have the default wheels and tires, we have 40-inch um, BF, uh, BFG KM2s, we have uh, Baja MTZs, we have Boggers, and we have... Wait a second, let me go back to those MTZs. Those are... Okay, yeah, never mind, those are MTZs. I, I, I saw them from a little bit ways off, and I was like, wait a second, wait a second. And now, oh god, okay, these are Nix's personal trenchers, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the, I don't know, I like the default ones, but I like the KM2s a lot too, the KM2s actually are known for being a really good tire, um, you, we could use the boggers, well, they're all really good tires, I think, everything that you would use here is a really good tire option, um, I'm going to turn that volume down just a little bit, just because I'm I'm trying to see, I'm trying to, again, I'm, I'm switching up my audio levels again, so I'm trying to figure out what the best setup is. Now, spare tire we can do, um, we can also do a repair kit if we want, uh, depending on, oh, okay, so the repair kit is just really a high lift jack, um, and a couple of other things, but uh, we're going to go ahead and drive this thing around, we're on the map Crawler's Life, and I've never been here before, but there's, it's actually a really cool looking map, and I'm excited to see uh, what the, uh, what the deal is with it. Now, obviously, as you can see, with a full-width axle truck on a, you know, uh, well, with a full-width axle swap on a truck as small as this, you're going to have, you know, y the body is going to be the last thing that anything hits. So, which is kind of nice when you're crawling through the wilderness because you, you don't want that, you don't want the body to get banged. Well, actually, I take that back. You wouldn't care, at least I wouldn't care, uh, if the body got banged up on this truck. I really wouldn't care at all. Uh, I mean, because it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, what, Gen 1 S10 trail rig? I mean, so you're not really gonna care about the body. But look at the flex of this thing. It's absolutely insane. It is, is freaking ridiculous, the amount of flex you can get out of this truck. I mean, look at this, right here. I, well, actually... I mean, that's decent, but that's not as far as it can go. I'll try and find a really good spot to show you guys how much this can flex uh, later on on the trail. Or actually, might be. It might be here. Might This might be a really good spot to do it at. That's pretty close. That's pretty close to being able to show you, but still want a better, still want a better spot. Regardless, it climbs insanely well. Now, if I turn the lights on, the lights in the back and the front come on, which is a really nice touch. I mean, sometimes only the front lights will come on, and not all of them will come on, depending on the mod. Sometimes just certain mods don't have as much work put into the lighting as I think they should. But, um, it, ooh, that's close. That's, I mean, you can see how much it flexes up, you know, just in transitionally between these rocks. But, like, dude, oh my god, the detail on these King Shocks, or these King Coilovers, too is absolutely ridiculous. Like, the, you can see, you can see the lettering on, on the coilovers themselves, you can see, you can see, like, you know, the little different, different colors, you can see the, like, you can see where they fasten to the axle, which, like, if you, if you look, I'm trying to get the camera right, there you go, you can see where the bottom of the secondary shock fastens down there, you can see the bolt, you can see the bolt for the control arms, it's just insane the amount of detail that has gone into this truck, and it's a really nice truck too, it's not like there's, it's not like they've cut any corners either, there's no corners cut here, there's, there's really none, and it's, it's, absolutely like the detail is next level, it's absolutely next level detail, and I applaud, 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 applaud the amount of work that it takes to build a truck like this. Now, I'm gonna grab this F450 real quick, the only reason why this is here, you guys will find out in a second why this is here, but uh, the only reason why this is here is because I would like to, you know what, it's fine, I can pull forward because I can has dev mode. So, uh, and that's just a little trick you can do with Spin Tires Plus, but let's see, 
We'll put a hitch in the bed and gooseneck with ramps. We'll get that thing hooked up and then we will stick the other S10 on the back of this truck. And I know this isn't really a great map for towing, but I just, I'm, I'm curious to, to, to try it. I'm curious to stick it on the back. Um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna put the anchors down. We don't really need to. Uh, it's not necessary, at least in my opinion, um, at like where this thing sits right now, especially considering the truck that we're putting on it, we're not gonna need uh, to anchor it up. I mean, we're not gonna need to put the ramps all the way down either. It's not necessary for a truck with as much grip and as much lift and frankly as much tire uh, as this truck has. And again, like I said, I know this is not a towing map, but I still want to stick this- oh god, okay. That's- oh wait, we might be able to just stick it on the back. Alright, that'll work. That'll work. Actually, that's- that's not bad. That's not bad. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna back it up just a little bit, and then pull it forward a little bit, then set the e-brake, shut it off, then we're gonna switch back to the Ford, we'll put these ramps up, and we should be good to go. I mean, there's not really that much we need to do in order to get that thing on the back. I mean, now, if spin tires had a straps mechanic, I would I would use the straps, but it doesn't, so I'm not using them. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see... Oh, dear God. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. All right. Um... <laughs> Is there another trail we can take? <laughs> Is there another trail we can take, like, anywhere? I mean, I don't want to pull it through the... You know what? Let me check the map. Let me check the map. Um... You know, there really isn't another trail that we can take. So, we're just gonna have to be like, screw it, and take that main trail, which... Oh god, I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. I, we're gonna- we're gonna have to figure out a way to do it. And that truck's already- well, uh, we can get it to move. Maybe. And there's no winches in range. Okay, you know what? Y you know what? This is, um... Oh, this truck wasn't made for- well, it was made to tow. Wasn't made to tow in this kind of an environment. You know what? Maybe if I go up to the- no, you know what? I don't want to go up that way. I don't think this truck is going to be able to handle this. I think if we want to tow this thing, we're going to have to go to a different map. We're really going to have to go to a different map if we want to tow this thing. And, and, this is not the main point of the video. So, I'm going to get in the S10 and I'm going to uh, head somewhere else. <laughs> I'm going to get in the S10, head somewhere else, and it'll be all good. Look, it walks itself off the trailer, no problem. Just walks it right off, no big deal. Walks it right off, climbs up the rocks, and it's like, yeah man, I'm good, I'm out. <laughs> Let's see if it'll hold second, actually, in automatic mode, going up the hills. Oh, it seems like it does. It seems like it's willing to. Definitely doesn't resist it. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. We cartwheeled down the hill and survived. I'm slightly surprised, but I'm thoroughly, thoroughly grateful for that. Considering the fact that I really didn't want to flip over right there by the garage. I mean, like... It's, it's fine, because you can just rescue and get right back to where you are, but at the same time, you just don't want to flip over. I just don't want to flip over. And I'm glad we didn't try to bring the trailer this way. That would have been a disaster. God, it's still staying in third, though, and when it, like, when you keep the throttle planted in gear, it's fast. Especially for a crawler, it's very fast. I mean, this could hold its own on some of the racetracks, which is saying a lot for a crawler rig. I mean, really, a crawler rig is usually not a, uh, not a usable rig for something like that. But for this, it seems to do just fine. Seems to do just great, actually. Make it right up and over. And, whoop! Alright, where does that go? Is that literally just, like, a stream? Okay. So, we've... We seem to have gone off of the trail and just... Oh, how deep is this? Oh, bit deep. Yep, a bit deep. Definitely a bit deep. Let's... I, I'm glad we brought two of these, because we can just go right back to the other one and carry on our way. <laughs> and a slight, aside from our slight towing mishap, we haven't really had any mishaps here. It's actually been, frankly, pretty good. That's a mishap. Oh god, I, I, I spoke too soon on that whole we haven't had any mishaps at all thing. Oh wait, you know what? Yes, I love electric winches. Electric winches 
are like are the best. In fact, I'm gonna make a separate video on how you guys can get that dev um, the dev tools, how you guys can get an electric winch, um, and a lot of because a lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of people don't talk about how to set up spin tires plus because nobody really like the people that use it. I mean. They're just like, okay, I'm gonna use it and they don't really like, you know, carry it over But I'm gonna show you guys how to do it very soon because I know I've gotten a lot of questions Especially about the dev tools because they're very useful. They're so freaking helpful, dude. Okay mud bog Very very tough mud bog Like a mud bog that would warrant bringing mud trucks here The only problem is the mud trucks would have a hell of a time getting over here to the mud mud bog and, um, and actually doing some mudding. But, like, look, this swallows the 40-inch tires whole. It, the 40-inch tires are gone. They're absolutely 100% gone, and, and, like, I can't see them anymore. I can't see them anymore at all. We gotta make it to the end of this mud pit, though, before the video ends, because this is, this is, like, the last test for this thing. And considering the fact that, that this mud pit feels like it was literally just made for the mud trucks and the mega trucks, this is doing pretty well. I mean, I know it's really slow, but it's still moving. It's still moving and it's doing a decent job of it. I'm actually quite proud of it. I'm proud of the little S10. And when it comes out the other side, it's going to be like, oh, oh god. I don't know if it's going to come out the other side. Oh, jeez. That's really freaking deep. That's like, the, the, we're down to the roof line. We are down to the roof line and that is so bad. Oh my god. But it's working its way out though. It is working its way out and it's not doing a bad job of it. Oh my god, dude, I am 100% bringing the mud trucks here. I'm bringing the mud trucks here, and we're gonna have a blast. Oh, look at that hill. Squirrel. <laughs> but no, we're gonna bring the mud trucks here. We're gonna have an awesome time with it. I think it's gonna be a blast when we bring the mud trucks here. But, um, but yeah, this thing did awesome. Uh, both versions of it did awesome, and I really like it. Um, actually, okay, yeah, sweet, we're out of the mud now. But um, overall impressions and opinions, I love it. I love this thing. It's an awesome truck. I highly recommend downloading it. It's on the Steam Workshop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.